Hello, so we are back and this time we have six items from Temu to reveal. Before we start, I just want to say thank you Temu for letting me to pick up the items I want and review to my community and also the discount. Now, very important, you can uh, have a look on this video description. You have there a link. You can create a Temu account and uh, buy the items with a discounted price. Or you can use this code from the screen for the old users for a hundred pounds discount coupon. Now let's start review these items. Now what I picked up this video is this beautiful startup kit. Now this is a kit for uh, beginners. They can start, learn electronics and follow their dreams. Here are like, you know, basic components which uh, are needed in order to build up different uh, schematics. You can have this for about 99p, which is a great price. Now the next one is the USB power meter. This is a tool which we are using it like all day long on uh, our repairs. And it's going up to 30 volts and 12 amps. You can have it for 99p. Now the next one is a digital microscope. This is a really beautiful tool. And uh, again, can be used day by day on a motherboard diagnose. Now, this item is something what I'm looking for a long time to review. So this is an air quality meter. And it's taking nine different measurements uh, from uh, the air. You know, there are people having different allergies or, you know, like hay fever, like pollen allergies. And uh, this is fantastic. I tested and uh, for me, it looks uh, like pretty accurate. You can have it for 99p. Now, the next one. A set of 10 lithium batteries, 1865 uh, lithium cells. You can actually rebuild probably like three laptop batteries with uh, these cells. Again, this is a fantastic deal. So 99p for 10 cells. We're going to test them and see how they perform. Now the last item, a wireless speaker. 100 watts, this is proper heavy. I mean, probably because of the base speakers from the ends or the big batteries. But I didn't expect uh, the audio quality from this speaker. So we're gonna review this at the end. You can buy this for about 63 pound discounted. We are gonna start to review each item one more time. Have a look on the link on the description. You can click and create a new Temu account and, and get all those items for uh, the price I advertise. Or for the old users, you can use the code from the screen, but you can use it only once. So if you already use the code, uh, it will not work again. Now let's go and start with the beginner kit. Now this is something which, you know, everyone it will enjoy. I mean, having components, even on the, on the repairs, you know, even on the repairs, you need resistors, you need transistors, capacitors. So you have a bunch of transistors, different type of transistors, PNP, NPN, ceramic capacitors. Yeah. Check here how many LEDs are here. Then electrolytic capacitors and a bunch of diodes. And I can see some big diodes. So probably those are like uh, five, I'm not probably like three amps diodes and normal diodes. A great startup kit for anyone uh, who want to start learning electronics. And we all know you start learning electronics, actually you start uh, building uh, things, yeah? You just pick up a schematic and you try to replicate. In total here are 1,400 electronic components. For 99p, this is a very good deal. Now the next one, the digital microscope. This is a really helpful tool. So I use it a few times and yeah, if you have bad eyes and not necessary to have bad eyes, actually you can check the motherboard components. Let's do a test. Now be honest with me. Eh? How many times you have problems actually reading uh, the writing on a chip? Like this one, BQ25700. I mean, not everyone has a microscope, a digital microscope uh, to check uh, the board. But also you can check the tracks and uh, even small components. So check here, you can clearly see the chip writing and I'll show you the chip size. That's the chip size. And also you have an optical uh, lens here. 
check here another chip and you can clearly see the writing on the chip now even the board writing you we can see here a motherboard ux325 more than that you can see like small transistors uh, the writing or small ic's so this one it's actually this one let me grab another motherboard now oh, check here the writing on this chip huh so this chip is actually this one of course you can zoom the picture if you want you can take picture you can uh, insert a memory card and take pictures a very very useful tool in repairs of course we are speaking here about board inspection because you can't really work uh, under the under this uh, mobile microscope digital microscope now in order for this tool to be perfect i would love to have like a adjustable uh, lens here so you can adjust the focus so you can actually keep some distance from uh, from the board i try already to unscrew the lens from there and it's just stuck you can't do it again you can have it for uh, 99p now the next one is the usb power meter and this is a must have tool in um, in repairs now i'm gonna plug a usb c cable uh, let's test it let's see and check that you can see it's showing the voltage and it's showing the current and also the power so what i'm uh, using right now it's actually 280 milliamps now a different tool connecting the usb meter and check there five volts and, and my tool is taking like 600 milliamps now we can check that in my laptop yes we can i have a faulty macbook here i have to fix it so plug in the usb meter and it's taking check that yeah it was five volts and now it's 19 volts obviously it's taking no current because the macbook is done but you can see actually the pd controller is still uh, is still working so what do you think about this usb meter hmm? i mean what alternative do you have hmm? so this is 99p the tool i'm using the usb meter i pay 50 pounds for that one it's doing exactly the same thing you know all you want to see you want to see the voltage you want to see the current that's all what you need 99p yeah now let me review now these two air quality meter like i said i was looking for a long time to review this kind of uh, tool now let's wait a little bit in order to display the other value it can show you like you see the temperature the humidity the small particles big particles co2 the chemicals from the air and also overall uh, air quality let's wait a little bit now the counter is going down and now we have nine measurements of the air quality including chemicals uh, from uh, from the air now you'll ask okay sorry but how good it is you know how quickly is responding to the air quality changes yes this is very important now let's do a test okay you know i'm uh, i have my vape here yeah Let, let's try it let's see so let's check the first you will see the the particle size then you will see some co2 from the air going up and you can see the air quality is going to serious red you can see it so the meter responds very fast and now the particles small particles and big particles are maxed out because uh, you know vaping you have like tiny particles of uh, steam but it was instantly show you the air quality changes all back to normal what about the soldering fumes can this meter detect soldering fumes let's do a test we have the solder iron here rosin and yeah check there uh, you can see it's going up yeah it's kind of bad you know soldering uh, soldering fumes what about a normal cigarette So that's a normal cigarette smoke and you can see instantly uh, everything is going up
especially the the CO2 the CO2 meter. And you know what? You won't see a lot of uh, meters actually uh, give you reading of the chemicals of or CO2 levels. So what do you think about the uh, about the meter? A proper nice tool, especially when you are working uh, in fumes like you know soldering fumes. You can have it for 99p. Huh? Now the next in line is the lithium cells. I'm gonna bring my uh, my analyzer to check the capacity. The capacity should be 2.2 amps, and that's what is important. So you remember my uh, battery analyzer, which I modify, and also I'm, uh, I can test uh, phone batteries. Yeah, let's check with this one. Three cells for testing, and uh, I will start a capacity test on each battery. This it will take probably a few hours. But we're gonna see the results at the end. We are four hours later. Now the discharge test is nearly to the end. Let me zoom the camera and explain you what's going on here. Now this test is very precise. So the device it will charge the battery to full and then it will discharge the battery with a constant current, 500 milliamps. Now, 500 milliamps, uh, these batteries, they have 2.2 uh, amps. That means over four hours of testing, discharging with 500 milliamps. Now, discharging, the capacity is getting counted. So check here. You can see 2031 and it's counting the capacity as the battery is getting discharged. At this moment, the capacity of the batteries, yeah, are all over two amps. So we have this one and this one and this one. You can see, so every battery, the capacity is over two amps. Here is telling me the percentage of the energy left on the, on the battery. So I can confirm the cells, they have uh, the manufacturer specification. They say 2.2 amps and all they have over two amps and I still have left uh, capacity on the batteries. Now, have in mind, we picked up uh, just three random cells and all they fall under the manufacturer specification. All they have, you can see over two amps. So definitely a good value for the money you pay. So don't get me wrong, just because you buy them with like 99p, that doesn't mean they are cheap. Actually, they are bad. Actually, those cells are quite expensive. If you try to buy the cells without the Temu discount, I believe it's around four pounds per cell, or like 3.5, four pounds per cell, something like that. But of course, thanks to Temu, we can buy them discounted with 99p, 10 cells. Now, one second, yeah? I'm pretty sure here are people, they know about the cells. I'm just saying, don't take reference uh, of the internal resistance from this device. It's not accurate. Like you can see now, the internal resistance is different compared with like a few minutes ago because uh, people are looking for the internal resistance, especially when you are looking to pull out a lot of current in a short period of time. So don't take this internal resistance as the reference for the cells. Anyway, around 50 milliohms uh, is, uh, you know, quite decent. Okay, good. Let's move to the last item. Now we are reviewing a top-notch wireless speaker. Now let me tell you the story with this. Initially, I picked up this item for review because uh, I was planning to give to my daughter. My daughter is going to the university and I said, you know what? She can have like a wireless speaker. Then when the package arrived, you know, my wife picked up the speaker. She connect to her phone and she tests the speaker with the new song from the Linkin Park. You know that song, yeah? Instantly, she fell in love with the speaker. And now I have no choice. I have to buy another one for my daughter. Now, the quality of the, of the audio from this speaker, it's unbelievable. And this comes from someone who knows a few things about the audio. I'm pretty sure they put some, uh, they put some time on the research because the bass frequency, it's around, I will say, around 80 hertz based on what I'm hearing. So you have like kind of like a deep, rich bass. If you play and build speakers uh, in the past, you know, actually, you know, the resonating frequency of the speaker 
come very close with, uh, you know, with actually the box you put in the speaker inside. It's not much wiggling room on uh, having like the, the resonating frequency to, to drag down the resonating frequency of the speaker very, very low. We have two speakers on the sides and uh, probably some speakers here because I can, uh, I can hear the sound even from here and the bass from here. Now, like how I said, the quality, it's unexpected. And I, and I, and I heard a few speakers, uh, Bluetooth speakers before, but this, you know, it's, it's way above every, anything I tested before. Powering up, of course, this is, this is able to connect to two different devices. I'll connect the speaker uh, to my computer. I'm gonna play a no copyright song. Now you can't hear, probably you can't hear the quality. Now I like to switch the EQ for even more uh, bass. So that's one speaker. Now it's quite loud. Proper nice sound. Amazing sound quality. This speaker, it's worth every penny. Believe me. Now the charging, you can uh, you can charge it by uh, USB-C. It's coming with a USB-C cable. You have a normal port USB and USB-C. And also card, you can plug a card there. Now the battery capacity, 7.4 volts, 24,000 milliamps, 24 amps, a lot. The speaker, it's uh, heavy, I mean, Probably like over two kilo, three kilo, something like that. Not sure. So uh, if you need like a proper high quality uh, wireless or Bluetooth speaker, uh, this is something you have to look for. Don't forget, check the link from the description or apply the discount code. You can buy it for about 64 pound. Now I'm going to stop here. Hopefully you enjoyed the reviews. If you have a preference, if you have an item on the a demo, you want me to review it, I can do it on the next uh, video. Just leave a comment and tell me what do you want me to review. So thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.